Good morning everybody. It's fall. So today I'm going to show you how to make a very typical common fall recipe using pumpkin. So they're going to be pumpkin whoopie pies and we're going to fill it with a really good maple cream filling. So this is what you're going to need to make the whoopie pies themselves. I'm using whole wheat pastry flour. However, you can use regular all-purpose flour, salt, pumpkin puree. Now, I'm using it from the can. You can make your own an egg. Two kinds of sugar, dark brown sugar and, of course, regular sugar, and I always use the organic sugar. Canola oil, ginger ground up, nutmeg, cinnamon, baking powder and baking soda, and, of course, some vanilla extract. In a large bowl, just quickly whisk together the flour, the baking soda, baking powder, and salt, cinnamon, nutmeg, and the ginger. In another bowl, we're going to whisk together both of the sugars. Whisk this to one, get the lumps out of the brown sugar if you have any, and two, just to combine it real well together. When that's thoroughly mixed, then we're going to just slowly add in the oil and combine that. Your mixture will look kind of pasty. Next, I'm going to add in the pumpkin puree. And again, just whisk this real well together. And then the last thing we're going to add in are, is the egg and the vanilla extract. Next, we're going to start adding the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients. Now, I like to do this in three portions. So I'll add in one third, mix it together, then another third, then another third. I think you understand what I'm talking about. Now, I have a baking sheet lined with a silicone mat. You could use parchment paper if you don't happen to have a silicone mat. And I'm going to be using a tablespoon. Now, I want to make this heaping. You can make these whatever size you want. I, I tend to like them sort of on the big side, but you can make little, small little ones as well. So I'm going to take a good heaping tablespoon and put them on the baking sheet and just keep them about an inch apart from each other. They do spread. These are going to bake at a 350 degree oven for approximately 10 to 12 minutes. And you'll notice the tops will start to crack. Take them out right away then and let them cool. I'm going to fill these whoopie pies with a maple cream filling. So what you're going to need for that is softened either butter, or in my case, I'd like to use the vegan buttery sticks only because it's a healthier fat, but you could use either one. Powdered sugar, I do make my own organic powdered sugar, which I do have at my website how you can make that as well. Cream cheese, maple syrup, and I'm using a really good quality pure maple syrup, and then some vanilla extract. So we're going to begin by beating the softened butter, just a couple minutes to make sure it's smooth and the lumps are gone. Add in the cream cheese and again beat that for about a minute or two to make sure the butter and the cream cheese are blended nice and smooth. We're going to add the powdered sugar in just a little bit at a time. Add in the maple syrup. And 
and the vanilla extract. And then mix until well combined. I decided to make my whoopie pies different sizes. I like the smaller size, but I also like them really big as well. So I varied the size up, which is all good. To sandwich them, we're gonna take the filling, which if you've tasted it, it's really very good. And just with the spoon, I'm just going to just dollop some on here. That's probably a little too much, but that's okay. And just have the one whoopie pie down. Take a big one. For the bigger ones, obviously you're gonna put more filling inside. And just close it and sandwich it together. And then until you finish them all. Now, there is cream cheese in here, so that means you wanna keep these refrigerated until you're ready to serve them. Now, to be perfectly honest with you, I'm not a big fan of pumpkin. Soup, okay, but pumpkin pies, generally pumpkin desserts, I don't always eat. I don't really like them, but these whoopie pies are so good, even I'll eat them. The maple cream in it is, is great. You can use it for anything. You could use it to dip fruit in it as well, but it's really good in these whoopie pies. Don't forget for this recipe, all of my other recipes, make sure you go to the link below, cinnamonsweetshop.com. Subscribe to this YouTube channel for more of your fall winter recipes and so much more. And I'll see you in my next video.